This is Brad Caleb. What is the best piece of advice? And the second question, how good are you at chains? A digital transformation is a complicated challenge for many. We can turn it around and see this also as a great opportunity. So what is the best piece of advice? What is the best piece of advice you have ever received? Let's go to an older area. Since Abel and Cain, a good son and a bad one, we've had a legacy of Cain's. Let me qualify this statement. The definition of legacy is a gift by will, especially of money or other personal property. If Cain would manage to escape, he would find an American government, or any government for that matter, and media determined to suppress their story and the enormous crime it reveals. Apparently, we should value love above all else. It's the main thing in life that brings us happiness. Once you see what really made people happy over three quarters of a century, you won't need to assume what will make you happy, and you may change your ways. Look at Cain and Abel now, for instance. They have both grown up. Cain has become a farmer. He grows grains and fruits and vegetables.
Abel has become a keeper of sheep. He likes to take care of little lambs. They grow up into big sheep. And so Abel soon has a whole flock of sheep dwarfed over. One day, Cain and Abel bring a gift to God. Cain brings some food he has grown, and Abel, he brings the very best sheep he has. Jehovah is pleased with Abel and his gift, but he is not pleased with Cain and his gift. And do you know why? It's not just what Abel's gift is better, or is better than Cain's. It is because Abel is a good man. He loves Jehovah and his brother, but Cain is bad. He does not love his brother. So God tells Cain that he should change his ways, but Cain does not listen. He's very angry because God liked Abel better. So Cain says to Abel, let us go over into the field over there. There where they all are alone. Cain hates his brother Abel. He hits him so hard that he kills him. What's that a terrible thing for Cain to do? Even though Abel died, God still remembers him. Abel was good, and Jehovah never forgets a person like that. So one day, Jehovah God will bring Abel back to life. At that time, Abel will never have to die. He will be able to live here on earth forever. Won't it be fine to get to know people like Abel? But God is not pleased with persons like Cain. So after Cain killed his brother, God punished him by sending him far away from the rest of his family. Cain went away to live in an other part of the world. He took with him one of his sisters, and she became his wife. In the time Cain and his wife began to have children, other sons and daughters of Adam and Eve got married, and they also had children. Soon there were many people on the earth. Abel, he, although he died, yet he speaks. The excess of evil is a symptom of something much deeper. Therefore, be on red alert, folks. Did you know, now crocodiles are exceptionally good at holding their breath and can, when sitting at rest underwater, 
hold their breath for up to two hours. If one of them ever gets close enough, you will have the out of the box experience. Once a concern that was the province of paranoia. Earth, wind and fire is what we recognized. God the Father used to show us his power through Jesua Hamashiach, aka Jesus. God bless you all. Bye for now.